Hi, Tim Hartman here, and today we're going to be talking about a clever way to connect your laptop, your tablet, or your smartphone into any sound system. Stay tuned. So we're going to take a look at a couple of different um, interfaces today that are meant to do one thing. And that is that they take an eighth inch stereo input and they bring it down with, a, with an internal transformer to a mic level mono output. So it mixes both your left and right channel together. So if you're looking for a stereo connection to your mixer board, this is not the, these are not the units you're looking for. These are not the blocks you're looking for. So um, these are really good if, you, if you're uh, doing a presentation. So I kind of aim this at some of our, uh, maybe our missions guys who are out there or people who just uh, travel to churches and do a presentation, need to plug their laptop in. Um, a lot of times it can be really complicated. How do I get my laptop plugged into somebody's sound system for doing a presentation? Well, these guys are going to be the ticket. So let's look at both of them. We'll start off with the uh, Rapco Horizon. This is the Rapco Horizon and the model is the LTIGL blocks. Yeah, complicated, huh? It's a laptop interface. So there are a couple of pluses on this one that I like about it versus the other ones. All of these will have an XLR connection on the end. So you can just take a regular mic cable along with you. You can plug a regular mic cable right into that guy like that. Then um, you take the stereo end and plug that into your laptop. So, or cell phone. Uh, today I have a cell phone for my demonstration. Okay, so now I have my um, device plugged in and I am playing a music track. But I can't hear anything because my volume control is all the way down. That's really handy if you're setting something up and you need to adjust the volume where you're at, at the podium or something is too loud or, you know, you're running um, a small portable sound system and you don't want to have to run back over because something's too loud, you get a volume control. So let's turn our volume control up. Ah, so we have a Ben Everson track there playing over our um, lovely LT. IGL box. Now notice here there's a ground lift switch. This is handy. A lot of times you can get a ground loop when you plug a laptop into a power source that the rest of the sound system isn't plugged into. You'll get a hum or some kind of noise over the sound system. So in that case you can flip the switch down to the lift position which is a ground lift and that'll take care of the hum. A couple of things I really like about the Rapco box is that the cable is permanently attached. So for me, even though I'm a sound guy, it seems like I'm constantly running around and looking for cables. Well, this one's stuck to it, so I don't have to worry about where's the connector cable. It's all built right into the unit. So, And these are very sturdy little boxes. They're made out of some sort of steel maybe aluminum, but whatever it is, it's very heavy duty. This one in particular, really heavy knob. It's really sturdy, doesn't wiggle around or do anything silly. Um, Well-built little unit. So that's the Rapco Horizon LTIGL blocks. Okay, so here's the second interface we're looking at. This one is the Switchcraft 318 and like the other one it does basically the same thing you can plug your mic cable into this end of it and um, and you can plug an eighth inch stereo plug into the other end of it there's a volume control on the top this one is a little harder to use it's not such a big one but you can turn it up and that gets the signal from your device out to the mic output Now there are a couple of things about this one um, that I'm I do like, and then a couple of things I'm not a fan of. Uh, first, I'm not a fan 
of the small volume knob. And secondly, although it is a little more maybe compact if you're carrying it around. And secondly, I don't like that you can connect, disconnect the cable from it. Because if you're like me, the cable is going to get lost. And then just when you need to use it, you're running around going, where's that cable? I need to find a cable. With the Rapco, the cable's attached, so you're not so worried about it. Now this one does also have the ground lift switch and on this guy it's in, it's located right here on the end so you just switch it over ground lift. So overall this one is a little more compact. Um, it doesn't have things sticking up on it and um, it's a pretty sturdy unit also made out of metal. I think it'll give you a good long service life. So both of these I recommend. They're both good units. And uh, the Switchcraft is a little more expensive than the Rapco, but I think you'll find that both of them um, do a good job at connecting tablets, cell phones, laptops um, into a sound system uh, via the mic input. I hope you've enjoyed the overview of these two interfaces, and hopefully they'll help you solve a problem in your sound system. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.